Gambon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out and for staying. And this is our grand finale. As I bring the campaign to a close, we only have about one and a half hours to go and then all campaigning must stop. Yeah. As I bring my time here in the last few weeks in Sagambod, I have um, a few things I want to address the people of Sagambod. Tomorrow, win or lose, Putra Jaya or not, lies in the hands of the people. The people must decide. Pakatan Harapan is not like Barisan National. We will not steal or rob an election from you. We tell you, voters, you have to make a decision. You have to decide the kind of leaders you want to represent you in parliament and also to make policies for you in Putrajaya. That decision lies in your hand. But tonight, I'm here because I want to thank many people. <laughs> The first people, the first person I want to thank is Tun Dr. Mahade and his wife, yeah. Tun Dr. Siti Hasma. Now, please listen to why I want to say thank you. A few days ago, I was in Puchong. I was in Puchong listening to a charama, and a candidate from Amana went on stage, Dr. Siti Maria. Dr. Siti Maria said that she is now 60 years old and she has made the decision to contest again giving the balance of her years. She doesn't know how long she'll live, but she's dedicating the next five years of her life, prime time, to give back to this nation for public service. And as I sat there, I thought to myself, I am 39. Another five years, I will be, my math's quite poor, I'm 44. I'll be 44, that's okay. But for somebody who is 60, somebody who's in their 70s, for somebody who is in his 90s to say for the rest of my years, I don't know how long I'm going to live. But for me to set that aside again for public service, that is something that not every Malaysian can do. And not every Malaysian is willing to pay that price. Because to be honest with you, if you ask yourself, if I ask myself truthfully, if I have only a few more years to go, how would I want to spend my life? If I have money, I, maybe I want to go on holiday. Maybe I want to be with my grandchildren. Maybe I want to do, pursue things that I enjoy. I don't have to travel up and down, speak for hours at Chirama. And above everything else, to be the former Prime Minister in his prime time, nations around Malaysia glorify Malaysia. But today, they cut his billboard face. They say all nasty things about him. They reduce him to nothing. Now, if you were Mahave, would you do it? But I believe deep down in this man's heart, there is great love for his nation. The things that he built with his own hands, he is not willing to go to the grave seeing this nation torn apart. And therefore, as a young Malaysian in her 30s, I want to say and put on record tonight, Thank you, Dr. Mahade and Tun Dr. Siti Asma for sacrificing the remaining years of your life for public service again. The second person I want to thank is Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim and Kapwan. Now you must understand, this man has not gone to jail not once, but twice. And today, he is still behind bars. The nation, with all the accusations, thrown at this family. We have a lot to say sorry for to this family. But for this family to put aside their personal feelings, how they feel, how they should be behaving in front of you know, other people, for them to put that aside and say, the nation first, the nation first. I don't think it's an easy thing to do for any one of us. But the fact that they chose to forgive and to move on for the sake of you and me, I say thank you to Anwar and his family. The third person I want to say thank you to is Lim Kit Siang. Why? For 10 years, I have represented the DAP. My love for the rocket is a lot. But even in the beginning when they say you have to put rocket aside, 
I, I struggled quite a bit. There was a kind of pain in my heart that I couldn't explain because, you know, I like to prepare early. So I actually bought a lot of DAP rocket flags in my office, big ones, to get ready. We have spent the money to get ready. And then they say, you know, this is for the good of the nation because the people have placed their trust in Pakatan Harapan. This is the only way forward we have to use one logo. And for Lim Kisiang to have to travel across Malaysia to explain to all the veterans, to all the DAP grassroots, why he would have to put that. And he was, he was close to tears in Johor when he had to explain that. So I know it's not an easy decision. And we don't know how things will look like beyond the 9th of May. But for people like their age, to put aside again their differences, for him to come out and face the grassroots and everybody else, why he would support Dr. Mahadi now as the next Prime Minister. Not easy for you and I, but Lim Ki Siang is able to put that aside because he is thinking about you and your children. And for that, I say thank you, Lim Ki Siang. The next person is the family of Guru Nik Aziz for children to be in different parties and to face each other as opponent and for Nick Omar to step forward now and say you know this is he will be the face of Amana for that family to do that on behalf of all Malaysians I say thank you the next group of people I want to address are Barisan National members and past members. I appeal to those who are watching at home because I know Barisan National doesn't have charamas. <laughs> I know they are watching online. I appeal to you. Today when you hear my voice, don't think of me as from PKR or from Pakatan. I appeal to you as a young Malaysian, to Barisan National supporters and past supporters. Put aside how you feel in your differences. Vote together with Pakatan Harapan. Yeah. I say to you, AMNO members, MCA members, MIC members, Gerakan members, and PPP members in Segambon, I say to you, past members, give us only five years. If we are not good, you vote your leaders in again. That is your right. Do not allow your leaders who have made money out of the system to continue to lie to you, to continue to tell you that they give you hope. That is false hope. Because everybody else has paid the price to be where we are today. I appeal to you, AMNO members, MCA members, MIC members, PPP members, Gerakan members, you pay the price as a Malaysian. Tomorrow you go out and vote without fear because they can never tell who you have voted. Vote with Pakatan Harapan, give it a try. You, if you have not, you have not tasted it, you don't know. But for the rest of us, we have tasted it and it's good. I tell you, it is good. Vote for us. Now the people of Segambot, in our last Cerama in Taman Tun, Dr. Ismail, there was a big crowd, but I believe the crowd here tonight is equally big, because I cannot see until the end. <laughs> Pakatan Harapan believes in transparency. Everything that we do, we have to be accountable to you. The first Cerama in Sri Bintang, we collected donation of 30,000 ringgit. The second Cerama in Taman Tun, Dr. Ismail, it took our volunteers more than eight hours to finish counting. They started at 11 o'clock at night, they finished at 6 a.m. We collected more than 150,000 ringgit. are tough but people are willing to part with their money because they believe in a cause that Pakatan Harapan champions they believe that if I part with my 50 ringgit today when Pakatan Harapan goes to Putrajaya there will be savings there will be 5,000 waiting for my grandchildren people part with their money because they see hope ahead of them 
when we did flash mob, when I was doing flash mob in Desa Park City, somebody saw the Facebook Live, drove his car out, stopped me by the roadside and gave me a check of 5,000 ringgit and said, this is for your campaign. Yeah. This is organic support from the people for the people. And therefore, being accountable to you, ever since we launched an online donation, online, our campaign, I'm here and I'm pleased to announce to you the total that we have collected online. It comes to a total as of tonight, 875,000 ringgit. I have never seen anything like this before. 875,000 ringgit from people because they believe in our cause. And therefore, election rules say we can only spend a maximum of 200,000 ringgit for campaign. And we will not go beyond that. But for the remaining sum that we have collected, I'm here to announce to you, depending on the result tomorrow, this money will be poured back to the people of Segambut. Tonight, as I wrap up our campaign, the last 11 days in Segambon, I have met many beautiful people. I have met many people who, who say to me, actually there was, one in, well, there was one scene when I was going walkabout. I had to stop myself because I, I actually, I was, my eyes were filled with tears. Because when I walked through the coffee shop, some of the uncles came up to me, older uncles, and said, I, I want to tell you, Hannah, you we welcome you to Segambut. That sentence, just saying I welcome you to Segambut, actually really moved me inside because I feel already I'm very much a part of Segambut now. And many people ask me, who is behind your campaign team? They praise me, but behind me is a group of volunteers young and old who have taken leave from their work, unpaid leave, to campaign alongside me so that the people of Segambut will make the right choice tomorrow. So I want to quickly call up all my volunteers. They are all here. Can you quickly come here? I want to show to the people of Segambut who you are. Quickly, quickly, move everybody, quickly. Move a bit faster. Move a bit faster. There are eight young people. There are eight young people below the age of 30 to stand up here. Only eight young people. Only eight young people. The rest can stand around the, the, the stage. Eight, eight young people. The rest can please come stand in front so that everybody can see you. I have Basatu, I have Amana, I have PKR, I have DAP, all here. I have those who are not in, in any party, they are here. Hurry up. Please, please, please. This is the campaign team. Through hot sun, blazing hot sun, and heavy rain. Can you, can you please stand here? Stand, stand, don't stand at the side, please. Please, please. Now, I'm not done yet. There are many things I want to say. This campaign is powered by the young people, encouraged by the older ones. Those who are on stage are below 30 years old. Everybody watch my videos and ask me, who did the videos for you? I don't pay consultants like Najib Razak. <laughs> These are all volunteers who did it out of their uni time and their study time. One brother, Wonderful. Eugenio. Yeah. Where's Eugenio? Yeah. Where's Eugene? Come. Eugene, stand here. This is the big brother, Eugene. How old are you? 23. 23. Subang Jaya boy. <laughs> he will wake up early and follow me on my walkabout and film the scenes. And then he goes home and passes it to his younger sister, Shamin Yo, who's 21 only. This is the person 
my secret weapon for my campaign. 21 year old, she did edited all the videos that you see. Not a professional, but I don't believe in engaging consultants. I believe a campaign that is for the people must be from the people. It must be based on volunteerism. Nomination day in Damansara Heights, a young boy came up to me and he said his mother just passed away not too long ago and that he came all the way for, from Saramban to campaign for me. His name is Sachi, 18 years old. I don't know how he travels, but every day from Saramban, he comes to Segambot, 18 years old, cannot drive yet, huh? find his way to come and campaign. Stands at the junction at Bamboo Garden, handing out leaflet, speaking in Mandarin. He can speak Mandarin. Show up. Election, please help her out. And Sachi, I want to tell you, I want you to tell the people what you told me on nomination day. Why, after the passing of your mother not too long ago, you chose to be part of this campaign for Malaysia? Why? Because I felt that there was too much evil in the world. There was too much negativity in the world. And I felt that the world had to change, starting from our country. And I would decide to help that world, I would decide to help that country through my political idol, Hanayo. lawyers here, I don't pay them for representing me. They really took time off after their work, Kyril and uh, Rahimi, after work they come out at night and they do walk about. For 11 solid days, it is powered by these young people. You see, stay with me. The win tomorrow, when we go out and cast our vote, it is not just about going to Putrajaya. That is just the next destination after you win. But the real purpose why you and I stand here today, everything that we do, why you part with your money to give us your money, is because everything that we work hard for, everything that we fight for, are for the young people here and for the children that you have already now asleep at home. This nation belongs to them. And we, as responsible adults, we don't want to go on record one day that we have handed a broken, useless nation to the next generation. And therefore, if we have energy today, as long as we are still breathing like Toon Dr. Mahade, we must get our act together and move on together so that, so that, after we have done everything, we have tried everything, we can at least look in the faces of our children and say, Mommy and Papa, we have tried our best. We have not run away. We have tried our best. And this is the best we can do. And we hand the baton to the next generation. And this is why it's important to get young people part of this early. They shouldn't be watching it from at home. They need to get their hands dirty, come out. And I'm certain that if you ask any one of them here now, in the next five years, in the next ten years, if given a chance to stand up for the nation, to enter frontline politics, I guarantee you, they will all say, I will give it a try. Whether I can or not is a second issue, but I will give it a fight. You see on stage and everywhere else, Malay, Chinese, Indian, Malaysians. They have taken leave. This, some of these adults have taken leave this is uh, Fahan from Basatu. Every morning after sending his kids to school, he comes and join me for flash mob. Father. There are pharmacies, there are doctors. There are doctors who go and hang banners at night at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Because everybody saw that this is, this is what we need to do. This is exactly what we need to do so that tomorrow, when the politicians win, you can say, I was part of that. 
my because of my effort, this person can go to parli uh, can go to parliament now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I close tonight, I want to tell you that change is something that is normal. Five years ago, things looked different. We had no opposition coalition. Then five years later, we have Pakatan Rakyat together with PAS. And then things change again, and today we have Pakatan Harapan. We can change leaders. We have changed leader from Anwar Ibrahim to Tun Dr. Mahadi now. We can even change the ticket that we stand on. Five years ago, I had a, I had a, a letter by PAS giving me the mandate to run on PAS ticket. That was five years ago. But today, I run on PKR ticket. You see, things can change, situation can change, but our cause does not change. And our fight for this nation, our fight for a better Malaysia will not change. Tomorrow, when you go out and cast your vote, remember this. Hope is something very, very powerful. When you have hope, no one can discourage you from going out. Najib Razak has just done a lot of announcement the night before, camp before polling day. It has never been done before. He has just announced more goodies to Malaysians. But we must start behaving as a nation of not just goodies, but as a nation that believes in righteousness, that we will not tolerate a corrupt leader leading Malaysia anymore. Tomorrow when you go out to vote, imagine a new Prime Minister. Imagine a new cabinet. Imagine new policies in the schools that your kids go to. Imagine more budget for your government hospital. Imagine more money to equip the police force so that we can all feel safe again. Civil servants, when you go tomorrow, Imagine taking instruction from clean people and you don't have to hide things anymore. Yeah. School teachers, imagine going to teach again. Teaching from what you believe to know is true and not listening to a political master who, use, who uses schools as tools for them. All this can change tomorrow if you and I put our hearts together and go out without fear to vote. It will happen. It can happen. So the outcome lies in your hand. We have done our best. Many people say to me during campaign, they say, go to sleep, la. sleep also can win. <laughs> no need to campaign, la. go somewhere else. But you know, I know that when I take on this position to be a candidate for Segambut, I have a duty to lead by example. I know there are many young people around me who work with me here, who are watching my step, who are watching what kind of leader they are supporting. And I want to show to this next generation of Malaysians that the days of earning for position without working, those days are over. We must work yeah. hard. We must work for our victory. We cannot take shortcuts. We cannot cheat. We cannot take things for granted. We must work hard for it. We want to raise up a generation of Malaysians who will go out to work for what they want for this nation. We want not to be known as a lazy nation anymore. We want Singaporeans to look at us and say, that is a hard-working nation. This is a nation who will not give up. Tonight, all along the highways, people are jamming to go home to vote. Across the causeway, Singaporean, Malaysians in Singapore are coming back to vote. But you see, these photos will tell a story that even though they are in Singapore, they have not given up on Malaysia. For that, we must be thankful that there are many Malaysians out there who will not give up fighting because this nation 
tanah tumpah negaraku is worth fighting for. I want to call my friend Amy Yo up on stage now. Amy Yo, we are not related, huh? Amy Yo is a professional singer. She texted me and she said, Hannah, I'm coming back from London so that I can cast my vote for you. She flew back from London. And I'm getting so many messages from Malaysians overseas and say, I am on my way home. Malays, Chinese, Indians. One Malay couple, senior Malay couple, texted me and said, we are about to board our plane in Heathrow to come back and cast our vote for you. Malaysians have not given up hope. We should celebrate that. And so, I want to thank you, Sagambot, for embracing me and my team in the last 11 days. I want to thank Subang Jaya people for donating to me, even though I'm no longer serving you there, but you, you believe in our cause and you donated. I want to invite everybody now to stand. This is a, a culture now, the new thing for Chirama. Turn on your handphone light.